Hello folks, uh, Gordon here, hope all is well with you. Uh, and this is a live painting series, one. First time I've done a painting in live sessions. Uh, episode 17, I think I'm at, finished. Because I've decided to finish. I, I think I've done, I think I'm done. And there it is. It's acrylic on a 10 by 10 canvas. Now I have been used to doing, say that painting and that painting, they're on eight by eight canvases. Um, but when I first did this one, which is the first one in, that, in this style of bubbles and drops, I was experimenting with different canvases because obviously a 10 by 10 canvas, is halfway between an eight by eight canvas and 12 by 12 canvases, which are, they're not too big, but I think I prefer eight by eight. But I experimented with a 10 by 10 when I did this one. Um, and then when I decided to do a second one in a similar style, sort of almost as part of a series, I thought, well, I better do it as a 10 by 10 again, hadn't I? So for this one, also on a 10 by 10 so does it work as part of the series I think it does I think it does now when I did that one I keep peering over the top I think this is the first one in this oh no, no I did have my I did have my face right at the beginning now if it's a bit of a shock to you to see my face on a live video believe me I have to go through that shock every day when I look in the mirror so deal with it uh, <laughs> When I did this one, it, I had bought some rose coloured paint and I was trying out some rose paint. But for some reason, I ended up putting different colours on, which I like. Nice result. And it's a bit like a rainbow. It's a bit like a rainbow palette, but not quite. It hasn't got yellow, it hasn't got green in. It's not quite rainbowish. So I always had it in mind that I should do one of these in a rainbow style. And then when I did, oh, can you, oh, you can't really see it on the, um, on the video. It's in the shadow. Now let me get it because it's worth it to make my point. When I did this painting, which is a, 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 a color scheme I've seen several times, it's the colors of the rainbow, but in the, in a different order because it's, uh, normally a, a, a rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And you can see here, obviously, for a start, the green and the yellow are on opposite sides. So it's sort of like split the rainbow colours in half. When I first did one of those, I then followed it up by doing uh, that, that one as like a companion to it. And then I thought, right, okay, now's the time for me to finally get round to doing one of these in the rainbow style. So there it is, and I call it, it's, it's an Eric Morcom, Eric Morcom rainbow because it's all the right colours, not necessarily in the right order. <laughs> so. I think it's worked, doesn't it? It's been a long time since I've done one of those and it's sort of, if you're looking at it at the right angle, the idea is, is that it tricks the eye into thinking that uh, there's a 3D effect. Oh, I did say before that I learned how to do that technique from an artist called Veronica Mikhailova. And what she does is underneath the bottom of the drops, she puts more shadow underneath those, which does lift them up more and, and increases the 3D effect. The reason I haven't done those is because I haven't practiced doing that yet. And I'm worried that there is potential for quite serious cocking it up. <laughs> and I think they look okay without. So until I practice that technique, I'm not doing them yet. Um, now you may have remembered early on in the uh, the painting series when I was doing the up and down strokes 
I put on that little bit of extra blue as the brush caught as I was pulling the brush off. And I did think I could, I might take that off later. I might paint over it in white. But I was a bit worried that if you go over one bit in white afterwards, it can then stand out as a bit of white. So again, there's potential for when trying to correct something and you actually end up mucking it up. So I just decided to leave it there in the end. I don't think, I don't think that spoils it. And in fact, if anything, it makes it more, uh, what's the word, organic. It makes it more random. It makes it more abstract. So I quite like that. I'm quite pleased with that. Let me know what you think. Do you like that? And um, it is for sale because I do have all my paintings for sale. Now, it is February 2024 as I'm recording this video. And currently, uh, the price for my paintings is a, tends to be, it's a fixed price. So the original, this original 12 by 12 on canvas panel, which means you can lean it up against things with these canvas panels, or you could put them in a frame if you wanted to, is 75 pounds for the original. I also do prints. Now the prints come on, let's see, this is, this is a print of one of my previous paintings. It's on, I don't know why I do that, I do that every time, I can't help myself. It's on card, on soft touch card, the printer calls it, which has, well it doesn't have a smell, it has a lovely silky feel to it. So you can have a print on the 8x8 soft touch card for £19, one nine, including free global shipping. Or the original for £75 also includes free global shipping. There's only one original, obviously. Once that's gone, it's gone. The prints, the first fit, I do 50, a series of 50 prints, hand numbered and hand signed as well. So you can get a hand signed and hand numbered print on the eight by eight size for 19 pounds, uh, including free shipping. And that is 75 pounds, including free shipping. Now what I'll do in due course is upload these, upload this um, image to a site called Redbubble, which does print on demand. So they do, you could have this um, on a mug or on a phone case, on a laptop case, as a as a as a, a mouse mat for your desk, as a I don't know bath mat, a, a mug. You can have it on a bag. You can get all sorts of products with that design on, which I'll do in due course. Let me know what you think. I've I've quite enjoyed doing it as a live video. Um, the phone, the battery is knackered on my phone, which is limited. It has made me consider the length of each live more than I used to do. So I tried to keep each section under 13 minutes, which has led to, it has influenced the sections as I'm doing the painting in sections more than I would like otherwise. Normally when I'm videoing me painting, which I always do, I can video it for a much longer because the, it uses less battery on the phone uh, when I'm not online and doing a live. Um, so what I'm going to do now with this one is take photos of it and edit all these videos down. The beauty of doing a live video on Facebook is that you can then download it afterwards or I can download it afterwards. So I'm going to edit them all together now. Let's see if there's 17 episodes, even at 10 minutes each, that's 170 minutes. We can call that three hours. Now, the finished final edited versions, which have the music in the background, hopefully you will have seen those of mine. I don't like to go over 10 minutes. So I've got to edit three hours worth of video down to 10 minutes. It's gonna, it's gonna take me a while. And the light for these lives has not been perfect all the time because I use natural light. I should get one of these uh, lights that re replicate natural light, but I haven't done yet. 
So I use a natural light source uh, and it's been okay for the live videos and when I'm doing the editing, I can then bring up the light with the video editing software. So again, it's just about workable. Excuse me, but for the image, I will have to wait. I prefer to wait until the light is how I want it to be when I'm taking the image. So am I actually releasing this picture today, Gen generally? I don't know, it depends. I'm gonna have a look at the photo I've already taken and then maybe take some later. And I might release it, release it today. Uh, if not, it'll be during the week sometime. But it is, it is now available, that is finished. I'm not gonna be doing any more to it. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Hopefully the next time I do a live series, I'm gonna pick a painting which is quicker for me to do. And I might be able to do it all in one hit because that would be quite fun as well, to see me live starting a painting all the way through to finishing in one go. Because then you'll see the difference between an edited 10 minute version of a painting, which you've seen me take three hours worth of videoing to do, and another finished 10 minute edited version, which you've seen me do from start to finish in one hit. So that might be, that might be quite fun. Every time I do a painting in, in a style that I've done previously, it makes me remember that I was going to do this style in lots of different colors. Maybe because the first one I did was just in purple. So I was gonna do one in, you know, just in blue maybe, just in red, just in orange. You could do it in all sorts. Or you can do combinations, lots of colors maybe, or maybe just uh, brown and blue. At the moment, I seem to be, I do like, I've got brown and blue on my mind at the moment, a sort of 70s type color. I like the combination of, of, of uh, a sort of yellow ochre type brown and a quite light blue. So anyway, I'm slipping into waffle mode, so I'm gonna stop. Let me know what you think. Finally, I say finally because it did take longer than I thought because I was doing it in live sessions. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy that. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Signing off for now. Wishing you as ever health and happiness. And if you would like to buy the original, this original or a print, uh, message me. Wishing you as ever health and happiness. I'll speak to you again soon.